What career path did you choose that you strongly advise against? You most likely will not become the next Gordon Ramsay or Bobby Flay. If you want to be a cook or chef, instead of starring in your own food network show you'll enjoy the following. Long hours, little pay, never having a Saturday night off, mad knife skills and asbestos hands, fluency in restaurant Spanish, Mars Platos, the pleasure of working with some of the most insane, talented, funny, criminal, medicated, loyal people you'll ever met. <laughs> Photography. It's oversaturated right now, because everyone thinks they're a professional photographer with their digital cameras. It's especially hard if looking to get editorial or advertising work. Super competitive and you have to almost know someone at an agency or magazine already. Photography. Oversaturated. Oh. You. Do not go into game development because you like to play video games. You won't make it past the first semester. Do not go into game development because you like to make games. You might make it through the courses, but the industry will chew you up and spit you out in a year. Go into game development if and only if you love to make games, and even then, only if you don't mind sacrificing your life for the next decade in the name of your love. Every year, in every computer science program across the country, a few hundred neckbeards with poor hygiene flood the first year classes, and every year, 90% wash out of the program as they realize that making games is nothing like playing them. The ones who make it aren't much better off, they get to go into an industry with only a handful of good jobs and shutload of bad ones, so the competition is frighteningly stiff. If you don't get incredible grades and make friends with connected people, plan on spending the first couple of years being pushed to your limit to develop shutty games for shutty pay. Games that may never see the light of day. Most of your peers will leave the industry in the first six months. You will, in all likelihood, be among them. We once had a piano tuner visit my piano class. His first words, never become a piano tuner. Maybe he just didn't need any of you competing with him for already limited work. Good point. Do you know how many piano tuners are in Chicago? <laughs> Law. I feel like I was born to be a lawyer and have a good gift for certain skills that go well with law. But I strongly advise against it unless you want to do it regardless of money prestige anything. We already have too many lawyers and jobs can be tough to come by. If you are only in it for the money a common misconception by the way, or because you want to do something that sounds good, or your parents are pushing you into it, or maybe you think it will help you get dates, or you are just putting off going into the real world, don't do it. Don't take the LSATs, don't go to the law school, and don't try to become a lawyer. Advertising, specifically in a media agency, it's not like Mad Men. Sure there are some fun parties and freebies. However, the pace sucks, the hours suck and you start to become jaded and hate everything you see online or on TV. Clients also tend to be pretty dumb. If you went to school for copywriting, design, web development, video or any of that stuff, you'd be looking at a creative agency and not a media agency. Basically anything creative. Media agencies are strategists, buyers and the like. We spend more time emailing vendors and on Excel than anything else. I no longer encourage young people to join the military. End of statement. Edit. 12 years active army experience, retired a staff sergeant. My wife would say, if you want to be an artist, don't get a masters of fine arts, become a welder. You'll make a lot more money and can still make art in your spare time. She has an MFA in metalwork and printmaking. She works for a world class art museum as an associate curator and has been there for 19 years. She wouldn't qualify to be hired for that position now, she'd need a doctorate. They aren't even hiring secretaries unless they have at least a masters because there are so many art degree grads out there. I have a high school and some college education. I make more, don't have to work weekends and can still make art too. Never get a psychology degree. There are no jobs out there and if you are lucky enough to mind one you better have a PhD. Edit. I'm not saying it is impossible to find a job, but it is much harder to find job compared to degrees. I still strongly recommend going into a different field. You're telling me I can't just go down and find a job at the psychology factory? Audio engineer. 
You see the guy in the studio working with a bunch of artists and you think oh that looks badass, I wanna get in on that. Fast forward a few years, after the interning and metaphorical bow jobs, where you get to sit in the big chair and the last thing you want to do is spend all night redoing takes to appease some shat who's never going to do anything worthwhile. All for little to no money. As someone going into their third year in their sound engineering degree, damn. Never apply for a meat processing plant with anything written in positions applied for. I will never forget the horrors of being a wall scraper. Stop laughing at my misfortune. Academic. Everyone outside of academia hates us. You will need a PhD to qualify for any job. You will not get that job. And our ivory tower is full of shut. My favorite are doctorate degrees which their only purpose is so that you can teach other people to get doctorate degrees. IT. No amount of love for computers or training can ever prepare you for the soul crushing existence of helping users on a daily basis. Don't do help desk. Get a real at job and you'll be fine. Help desk is soul crushing. Server work is great. Movie industry. You won't get rich and famous. Most of us can't even afford our rent. Especially acting doesn't pay off. I know enough people who starred in several TV movies but still need help from the job center to pull through. Don't ever work retail. If you like people, you will learn to hate. It is the path to the dark side point I don't know how it worked out, but I hate people and somehow loved my job in retail. Yep, the trick is not to give a duck. Help people out, but don't take anything personally, and don't get invested in helping anyone personally. Just treat it as a job, and do the job as described I pointy in form, and sell shut to people and retail is fine. Social work. I did that for 8 years after college. The people were selfish, paided and self-destructive, and that was just my colleagues. The patients weren't so bad. Don't do a degree in anthropology. We are the philosophy majors of the social science world. The social scientists laugh at us and call us hippies. I always laugh when people talk down on philosophy. I had 2.5 years of business classes and in the business world, the philosophy classes have helped me more than any of the business classes. Philosophy teaches you how to analyze, argue, and pick apart points of view. 90 of what you are doing in business is convincing someone you are right, and the tools philosophy offers you in that vein are priceless. Pilot. Don't get me wrong. I love the flying. Been doing it for some years now. But after the airlines started dumping the fare prices, life as a pilot sucks. It was super hard to get a job. And the education was very expensive. Now I can barely pay my loans and food. Working conditions is not so good anymore, and I probably have to wait at least 5 years before I get a raise. I've been working for the airliner for 3 years BTW. Military pilot is the only way to go. Writing. Had I known that a writer with multiple books on the New York Times bestseller list is lucky to make $50,000 a year, I'd stuck to landscaping and kept writing as a hobby. Instead I harvest out my creativity on a contract basis with no benefits, soul crushing quotas, and an emphasis on quantity over quality. It's mostly timing and luck and having access to info no one else has access to, but mostly timing and luck and erotica. And now I need a mid-afternoon whiskey. Manual labor jobs. When you are young. I messed up my back when I was 22 working cargo for an airline. It's been over 10 plus years ago and I still have back problems. Probably for the rest of my life. Agreed. I worked construction in my early 20s and a large part of my job was using a hammer drill. My wrist has never been the same since. Law enforcement. You could be the world's greatest cop and the nicest guy, but people will hate you anyway. Nobody calls the cops because they are having a good day 911. What's your emergency? UHH. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. Cosmetology. Find out how many girls per chair there are in your city. In Cincinnati it's 3 to 1. If it's high, take out loans and go to a good school. I went to Oveda, and it's far easier for me to find work get interviews than most. Also I'm good at my job and find it tedious. Make sure you can put up with monotony. Anything food service related. I've been working in the food industry for a little over 10 years now. I have no college degree and I have no experience in any other kind of work. 
I make decent money, but I have to work my ducking ass off for it, clocking long shutty hours, sacrificing social life, and putting up with people. I'm actually kind of scared that I'll have to do this for the rest of my life. Well life biology. No more competition please. It's a pretty rough time to be a teacher. The whole thing is in flux and the people who pass the laws that govern what you can must do seem not to know what they're doing. A lot of my students ask about it and I tell them that while I'm happy, if I had a kid, I wouldn't encourage them to join the fold. I just got a letter this afternoon telling me I'm terrible at my job and that my number of observations next year will double. Hahaha. <laughs> Kill me. Investment banking. Though the analyst program is a great crash course in business and the pay is amazing, the toll on your relationships, physical health, and sense of dignity are ultimately not worth it. Marine Corps infantry only do it if you love being miserable, carrying heavy things over long distances, walking and wading through the worst possible terrain, silently enduring extreme climates, getting shut on by everyone who outranks you, and the threat of going to another country to get killed or lose limbs. I love it. Retail pharmacy. Yes, the $100,000 starting pay is tempting. What's not is a 14 hour workdays of essentially being an insurance claims bitch, the abusive and unhygienic customers, and the overall dead endedness of the job. People of Reddit, don't be put off your career hopes and dreams by what you read in this thread. Many people have said there are no jobs in their line of work. Guess what? There are no jobs in any line of work. That's the reality of the world in 2013. Many others have talked about the stress and pressure in their line of work. Guess what? There is going to be huge pressure and stress at some point in any line of work. You'll find bad bosses in all fields. You'll have to deal with nightmare clients in all fields. You'll be underpaid for the first few years of your career and at times you'll have to do ridiculous hours. So guess what you do? You go after your dreams. You go with what you love, what you're passionate about, and you try like all hell to make it work. Life is too short to do something you hate because it's a steady source of income. Note, this thread was from 6 years ago. Good luck and thanks for watching. Less than 3.